Hey guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be comparing the Fenty Beauty setting powder in the color Honey to Sasha Buttercup. So if you saw the ad and you're like a brown, darker girl like me, you think that Honey, you would think that Honey would be like a really good under eye brightening. So we're gonna see. Let's start from the beginning. So the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um, setting powder in the color Honey is 28 grams. Sasha but Buttercup over here is 35 grams. But this costs $32. This cost me $34 on Amazon. So I think Sasha might win that round. So let's actually open the powders and compare them. This way, this way. So here's the honey. And here's Sasha Buttercup. So Sasha, Sasha is more like yellow, while Honey by Fenty is more like brownish. But I don't know, it's still kind of yellow, but it's not like, this is yellow, yellow. Now I'm actually going to put it on for you all. Um, let's see. Today I'm going to use, um, let's use, go ahead and use a sponge today, even though I usually use well, today I'll use the cosmetic sponge because this is what I usually use. So let's go ahead. So, you know what? This side, my left side, will be my um, Fenty side. So it smells a little bit like chocolate to me, honestly, which isn't a bad thing at all. But here's the Fenty side. And over here, we're gonna do Sasha. Oh wait, no, let me not go on this side. They almost look similar, correct? To me, they look similar. So typically I'll bake, like they definitely look similar and I know that when I put this on my computer, they're gonna look the exact same. I already know that. So typically when I bake, um, I leave it on for a little while. So I'll wait. So I'm just gonna use a normal powder brush to dust this off. So keep in mind that this is the Fenty side and this is the um, Sasha side. Let's really look at this, you guys. So, I feel like this side looks better. I really do. But let's go. It may be because my light is over here. But let's go move the light a little bit I feel like this side is still seamless and this side is a little well the thing is that the Fenty powder is supposed to be a translucent powder so it's really not used for a brightening on the eye but that's what I wanted because when you see the ad it looks like it's yellow so you would think for darker people that that would be a great under eye brightening powder and you think that um for lighter people that that color will be a good um, all over face powder. And I think it is a great all over face powder. And keep in mind, I am the color Nutmeg in Fenty Beauty's, um, in Fenty Beauty's powder. So, um, and I use that all over my face. But, I hate to say this, but at the end of the day, I'm always gonna pick price. So if you are looking for something to brighten under your eye, I'm gonna tell you to go with Sasha. As you can see, I used a lot of this, but you get more product um, and it costs less. So I'm, I'm gonna have to use Sasha for that. But as an all over translucent powder, which is what the Fenty powder was made for, 
then of course it's Fenty. But yeah, Sasha takes the cake if you want to brighten under your eye, in my opinion. But anyway, that's just me. Make sure you all tell me what you all think in the comments. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day, you guys. Bye.